Oh yeah, listen to that sound. Pretty windy day out. I've got a new mic spot once again, trying to combat all this wind. We'll see how it goes. I have a feeling that you guys are going to hear nothing but from the wind, though. Of weeks ago I decided that I wanted to go for a little small trip I had a day off so I rode about 200 miles to another Harley dealer that I've never been to here in Indiana still called Brant's Harley Davidson it was a nice day it was a it's a good experience all around just to get out so I go in there and I'm greeted immediately with an older gentleman, the sales guy, said, hey, you know, welcome to Brant's, you know, can I help you find something? I'm like, no, you know, I'm just trying to see some of the Harley dealerships that I've never been into before, and this is one of them, so I took a day off and just traveled around. So uh, he started uh, talking to me a little bit and <clears throat> showed me where the used bikes were, and. You know, about, they talked to me about Brant's and their history. So I'm in there just kind of looking around at their bikes and they, it was really neat because they have a lot of bikes from the early 30s hanging on their wall. Like the, the old track bikes, the wooden track bikes. It was really neat. So I'm sitting here looking around, talking to the associates and having a good time. And this guy came up to me I said, you know, hey, I'm the, the head of sales. You know, I heard you're our traveler for today. I'm like, yeah, I'm only well, rode about 200 miles to get here. Nothing excessive, but yeah, I'm, I'm traveling around. And he's like, well, you, I know you've been looking at these bikes on the wall. And we we're, were talking about the old bikes and how I appreciate them and the history of Harley. And he's like, yeah, I've got something to show you then. So we walk back to the service area and he grabs a set of keys off the wall. He's like, follow me. So we go outside into a, a big barn, like a pole barn. It's pretty big too, probably about 50 yards long. And he opens it up and there's about a hundred bikes in there. And they're almost all from the, between the thirties and the seventies, maybe some eighties in there. And we're talking AMF bikes, you know, bikes with sidecars. Um, There's a, even a Harley snow uh, snowmobile, which I didn't know Harley even made snowmobiles back then, but they did. 
in the AMS period. And, you know, he's, this, he kept telling me this is the owner's private stash of his private collection. And we, we were in there for, oh gosh, an hour just talking and just, you know, having a good time. And, and there was a, a newer uh, Ford, I think it's an F-150 or something, I don't know what it is, but it's a Harley version of a truck. And I got to sit in that. And, you know, he gave me like the grand tour of the Harley uh, shop that they had. Once we got back into the main building, he showed me inside the service area, um, where they're working on bikes and stuff, where they detailed them, you know, and stuff like that. And then we started looking more at some of the private stash that the owner had inside the main building. And again, more 60s, 50s, 40s era bikes. And it was just so cool that this guy came up to me and offered for like like the grand tour of the place and not once did he try to sell me something not once did he take me to the clothes area or something and say hey this will look good on you or hey have you considered about trading up your bike he didn't even ask me what i rode you know in general conversation i mentioned that i had a harley and and that i had a, a newer road king but that was well after the tour because i hung out there for about two hours and you know other customers would come up and and start talking to us and he'd have conversations with with them and me included and it was almost felt like i was shadowing him at that point for a job or something it was kind of cool so it got me thinking you know i i buy new cars you know pretty regularly i, I trade in a lot so I've had cars from Ford, I've had cars from Toyota, I've had cars from Honda, you know, but if I were to go into Honda and we'll say Louisville, Kentucky, which I've never been to, and say, hey, I'm just traveling around in some of the Honda places, it would be the most awkward visit in my entire life. They would just kind of go, oh, okay, well, what can I help you buy? And then when you tell them you're not here to buy anything, you're just looking around, you know, they wouldn't give you a second notice. They wouldn't give you the time of day, and they would just go about their day. You know, so, and the same with Ford or GM or any other automobile dealership. So, what I'm trying to get at, you know, and, and kind of what I'm talking about to you guys, is Harley doesn't seem to me just another auto dealer you know to me Harley is as a family as a community you know when you're and I can't say this about Honda motorcycles or Yamaha or even Indian I you know when you buy a Harley not only are you basically automatic friends with you know the the Harley staff but it's almost expected for you to come in and visit from time to time you know the bike that I or the place that I bought this bike Hunter Moon Harley Davidson in Lafayette Indiana you know they they expect you to pop in you know on a monthly basis or something and just shoot the bull and not once do they try and tell you or try to sell you something you know, you'll just sit down and they'll ask what's going on and how you been and how's your family and we can talk motorcycles, we can talk car stuff, you know, we can talk, you know, tattoos, you know, if you're into that or, or music and, and they'll just talk to you while they're working and it's cool and, you know, they're, like I said, they're not trying to sell you anything. You know, I've been into a couple of Indian dealerships now and, and this isn't don't get me wrong guys this isn't a Harley love video or a fanboy video or a hatred on any other brands this is my personal experiences you know I've been into some Indian dealerships and I have to usually find someone to help me no one comes up no one talks to me 
And then when they find I'm not going to buy anything, they just kind of walk away and then I'm stuck by myself just kind of looking around and I end up leaving. So, you know, what has been your guys' experience? Are you the, in the same kind of position that I am that, you know, a Harley isn't just a dealership, it's, it's something more. And it's hard for me to, to pinpoint because I have a difficult time with words. You know, and, and what I'm trying to describe, especially on, like, YouTube videos and stuff. But, anyway, I don't want to make this a super duper long video. I'm going to, it's a beautiful day out. I um, just got off work. I'm going to kind of enjoy myself, enjoy my ride. And, you know, our uh, riding season's going to be coming down to an end here in a month or two. It's going to start getting too cold for me to want to ride up in the, uh, the eastern part of the states. So go ahead and comment, you know, hey, you know, have you been into a dealership other than Harley where they've treated you like that, you know, like your family and they wanted to show off their building to you with no expectations? Or even if you've been to another Harley dealership and they've treated you like that. And, you know, I know not all Harley dealerships are equal. You know, I, I watch a lot of YouTube videos. And uh, there was a gentleman that was talking about how he went to a Harley dealership and was, you know, kind of like badgered by some person falling around. And they wouldn't even let him go to the parts department without signing paperwork for a Harley and it, that's just really silly and that's probably a, a franchise of Harley that you know they've implemented that into to their store but the Harley dealerships that I've been to aren't set up that way there's not somebody you know staring you down and you know staying within feet of you at all times Anyway, I haven't made a video for a while and something I thought I'd talk about. Man, I love this bike. This cam in here is amazing. So, my next video, um, I'll be, to be looking out for soon, I'm going to do a, a review on this 19 uh, Rogue King Special. I've got uh, 2,700 miles now on her. Go over a couple of things that I didn't really care for when I bought her, things that I really enjoy, some of the stuff I've done to her, and future plans. So be looking out for that video. Uh, remember, guys, make some videos so I have stuff to watch at home. Do what you do. Be safe doing it. Deuces.